Check it out, my friends and I have a new video game analysis channel called I Am Games. We've got a couple of videos over there about the new Spider-Man game and more on the way, so you should go subscribe. You can get there with the URL IamGames.fun. The variety of subjects which I've seen referred to as deep is so deep in itself as to leave the meaning of the word curious to me. Complexity and profundity of thought is a dictionary definition for depth, but what on earth is the baseline? Complex compared to what? How can something be especially profound? This might only be a question for me because I grew up on the internet, a world wherein you can learn literally anything just by looking it up. One of my best friends in high school taught himself computer engineering, networking, nutrition, and everything he needed to know to easily pass all of his classes in every subject just by knowing where to find the information. When I didn't know something, he'd frustratedly tell me to go find a subreddit about it. My housemate Tom Oliver, co-producer of the I Am Games channel, is currently coding a video game based on knowledge he gathers from YouTube. YouTube tutorials, at a rate which easily outpaces what he'd be forced to move at in a scholastic setting. And I? Well, I know what the word ostentatious means, and I sure didn't learn it in class. Information is easy now. Wikipedia will tell you enough about a philosophical or psychological concept to convincingly write a story about it, and you don't even have to finish the article. Is Ghost in the Shell deep because it brushes on the subject of existentialism as it relates to advances in technology? Maybe at the time it came out this was a challenging idea, but now that it's boilerplate water cooler conversation, it's hard not to notice that the film doesn't really expand on the topic. Some some of my favorite media, such as Standalone Complex, Mass Effect, and Evangelion, touch on a huge variety of topics, many of which have larger fields of research tied to them. But are they telling me something I don't know? How far can a work of fiction even dive into a topic while still attempting to be an entertaining story? Profundity is defined as deep insight great depth of knowledge or thought, which is not only the same thing as the definition of depth, but contains two versions of that word in its own definition, which leads to the question of how much profundity you can actually exhibit before you become an Ouroboros of thought. So if profundity is being deep, and being deep is being complex and profound, then I guess it's really just all about the complexity. Ergo, being deep just means saying a whole lot of unique things, I guess. Which leads me to wonder whether depth is anything to be impressed with at all. A textbook will present you with the most depth on a subject that you'll ever find, and I don't think it's unfair to consider it a work of art. People tend to think that just putting forth information dryly isn't a creative expression, but you could extrapolate on any thought indefinitely. The artistry is in knowing where to stop. And that's why it's funny to talk about depth in art. It's not being deep that's impressive, it's doing it without losing the plot, communicating a lot of ideas without resorting to text dumps, expository dialogue, or soapboxing. Now that is impressive. Calling something deep should never be taken as praise in and of itself. To say that something manages to be deep and engaging is something noteworthy. But it's also redundant, because depth is engaging. No matter how much someone tells you that they like to turn their brain off, no one likes something just because of how flashy or gaudy or fast or immediate it is, no matter how much it might seem that way. We care about skill. We care about depth of craftsmanship. And granted, not everyone is looking for the same elements of craft, nor has the same depth of understanding of it in the first place, but there's a reason we at minimum consume things which are more advanced than children's art, which could easily meet those aforementioned criteria. It's because we want something that's above our level. Crafting a memorable image, phrasing information in the most easily digestible and repeatable way, or making it feel good to see the reaction a character has to you pressing a button, doing these things requires profundity on the part of a creator, and that is the profundity which resonates with us. Pikachu's vacation may not cover a broad swath of themes and send you to the encyclopedia, but a moment like this requires such an incredible depth of artistic understanding on how to make a viewer instantly instantly empathize with and be entertained by the actions and emotions of a fake animal that I think it's as fair to consider it deep as I would a show spending 15 minutes describing how its setting is couched in an amount of understanding social psychology which you could develop in a day's reading. So I guess what I'm saying is that should we have any single measure of what makes a work of art worthwhile, it should be engagement. After all, finding the line on what is or isn't art may be near impossible, but recognizing the gradient of what is or isn't an engaging way 
way to spend your time is as simple as feeling it. And everyone's engagement is worth its own weight. There is no way to call something bad which isn't making a personal complaint about a failure in the context of your own values, or what you have observed as a consensus set of values among the section of population which you've decided to represent. Always remember that just because someone else likes something which you find unengaging doesn't always mean they're dumb or uneducated. It might just mean that their value set is completely different from yours, and you should try to understand that instead of dismissing them out of pocket. Not to say that you have to actually engage with their opinions, because who honestly gives a shit, but just try to recognize that we're all different and have our own perspectives, and that's cool as shit. Anyways, I just wrote this so I could advertise I am games, and now so I can remind you again that I have a Patreon. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.